It's the Andy and Dave Daily right here on the Muskegon Channel. I am Andy O'Reilly, still plowing through with this terrible cold. Dave Cack, you are there so doing brave. what he does best, and that's looking wonderful and feeling amazing and yeah. all that. I, I, do, I do feel amazing. I, I am here Good. giving it all I can. I am here surviving. I am here sacrificing to make this happen. You're so brave. I woke up this morning and I said, oh, would you look at that? It's dark. It's rainy. I could just stay here in bed. But then I thought, no, 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 no. I'm a man of the people. I'm going to take it upon myself to rise from this golden slumber, this somewhat uh, NyQuil-induced coma that I'm currently under, and I will uh, attend the Andy and Dave Daily just because I know it makes Dave's day. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And here I am. Yeah. Hey, I- I took the Z-Quil last night, oh, so I'm kind of with you. Why would you need more yeah. of those? I take z I like. I take some. Usually, take some sort of uh, chemical to make myself sleep. Really? Yeah, you know, sleeping pills occasionally, z occasionally, a Benadryl works. Really? Um, sometimes uh, warm warm milk. Ugh. Sometimes a glass glass of wine. You know? Yeah. All right, John Belushi. Whatever works. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's me right there. Do you still drink milk? Yeah, I, I well, I don't drink milk. Just like you know what I'm gonna have? I have a tall glass of cold. No, I'll drink milk with cookies. I have milk on cereal. Uh, I like chocolate milk. Yeah, love chocolate milk. Enjoy milkshakes. I've gotten to the point uh, where I I can't even the thought of drinking a glass of milk just makes me want to hurl. White it, milk and white Russian form is very tasty. Oh, well, there you I've go. I've gotten criticized. Yeah. I've gotten criticized uh, being a man and having a white Russian. Well, well. Uh, it's you know, but hey, I'm I'm secure enough. I know you are. I know I'm you not, are. You know, when it comes to male insecurity, you are the you're the you're the kingpin of it. I'm not. I, I, no, no insecurity. None. I am not. None whatsoever. None. Absolutely. I love that about you. You know, it rolls right off. In fact, you know what? When we get done with a little rolls newscast right here, I want you to take a second, and I want you to hug yourself. Uh, you see, that I can do. See, I don't no, need, no, I don't no, need I said when we get done. I don't want you to hold yourself. How about, how about a shoulder rub? No, no, I don't want to watch that. that. No. Okay. Start some news here or something, okay. would you? All right, why not? A gunman killed four people in Northern California on Tuesday, but a bigger death toll was averted when the killer was unable to break into an elementary school. The staff at Rancho Tahama Elementary west of Corning, California, locked the doors after hearing nearby gunshots. Students hit the floors, hiding underneath desks and tables. The shooter, after killing four people, rammed a pickup truck through the school's gate, walked into the schoolyard, and just started firing. He was eventually shot and killed by police. Evidently, about uh, ten people were wounded. And this was really fast acting by... uh, the people inside the school yeah. because this this could have been a bloodbath. Well, I mean, it was bad enough four people were killed. It's like it feels like we're glossing over that, but when you think about what could have happened, yeah. I mean, it was it was really amazing. This wasn't more of a, I'm, I'm, a dude. I'm telling a tragedy. you, and I, I the world's going nuts. It really mm-hmm. is, but in the, all of this stuff is done for attention, right? Yes. All of it's done for attention, and when this happens, or like you know, like the other day when in Grand Haven, it's okay to be white. Somebody's going right, around yeah. hacking up all these things. Yeah, don't give these idiots the time of day. Yeah, don't report on it, huh? Yeah, it shouldn't have been reported on in East Grand Rapids. Shouldn't have been reported on in Grand Haven. Don't give them what we they shouldn't want. reveal don't the names. Make a big deal of it. Let it just ignore it. I mean, here's the thing, and in. in you know, I went to this thing last week. It was a big uh, discussion with the community and the police and all this other kind of stuff. And, and it really comes down to this for me. Act on it. Don't react on it. Act. Don't react. The reaction is what they're waiting for. It's, right. It's, it's, it's bait. It's like, all right, mm-hmm. how can we get this attention? You don't know who does it. it, it right. It's done by somebody in the cover of darkness. It's done by somebody uh-huh. who's just trying to pull a reaction out of you. Yeah, nobody's to, nobody's you know putting those things, things up and behind you know yeah. be be the change you want to see be that person okay right when when these these things like this come along the reaction is all they want mm-hmm. it's going to keep repeating itself until that reaction's not there absolutely I mean 
No, it's uh, I, I'm I'm to that point. I'm glad uh, you know. We're, I I don't think I've heard the shooter's name released in this, which is good. I think that's that's a good place to start because you got to report. I like a, a, something like a shooting like this. You got to report on. You got to report on, on it, but I you don't it. have to release his name. But you don't have to release his name. Right. You don't. Yeah. You don't have to give him any credit at all. None. And I think that's where that needs to start. Yep. With uh, and, let it go. I mean, get, yeah. It's just, quit giving them the attention. Quit giving them the platform. Quit getting their manifesto out there so the whole world can hear. Right. You know, screw them. Right. That's we it. don't need to know what their message is. We don't. What else is going on? The Republican National Committee has withdrawn joint fundraising with Roy Moore. The National Republican Senatorial Campaign was the first to drop itself from Moore's campaign last Friday. Moore, of course, facing multiple accusations by women who claim Moore pursued them as teenagers when Moore was in his 30s. There's just so much. I mean, he did this. I mean, we could keep throwing the word allegedly in there, but... I mean, it's it's beyond that. There's too there's too much of it for it not to be true. I mean, I I could end up being wrong on this. I doubt it. I don't know. So I'll throw the word allegedly in there. But it just this looks really bad, and you got to distance yourself. Yeah. You have to. No. Yeah. And this guy, look, there's something just skeevy about this dude. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't like judge I don't like prejudging anything. I don't like doing that, but there's just something. And it's, you know, I don't know I, if you're this guy, you're he's going to keep denying it. He's going to keep denying it. Of course. He's going to keep he's not he's never going to cop to it. No. Especially cuz this was however many years ago. He may have even convinced himself that he didn't right. do it. But when you've got all you know, there's just there's you can't keep a conspiracy going between all these women, and it's like, yeah, yeah, they got together and decided right. to, uh, yeah. just to, because it was known within his camp. It, it's been known for years that this guy has got a thing for teenage girls, and that's a freak. It, everybody's got their got their little freak flag, but you got to keep it you legal. You can't lump that <laughs> under freak flag, dude. That's well, no, you know what I mean. It's everybody's got their their fetish whatever but you, once it gets below that line of 18 yeah. yeah you're 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 dipping into you're dipping into waters that uh that you can't dip into i don't know tisk 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 what else is going on of course today the first day of firearm deer hunting season in michigan deer hunting uh, generates more than two billion dollars into the state economy a regular firearm season runs through november 30th did you ever i've never been a hunter no. we've had a lot of hunters on our property hunting, yep. uh, but it's never been something I was into. You never, you never took the day off school. I, went, went hunt, I never did. I never hunted. I never, I'm not a deer hunter. I'm not a small game hunter or anything like that. I uh, went, I went deer hunting one time with my friends uh, up to my okay. uh, my buddy Brett. His dad had a single wide up in Lake County uh, by Baldwin. Um, we were probably 19 or 20 at the time, and this is a true story. Uh, we go up there and we're in the single wide in Baldwin and we pull into town and I got a, I got a raging headache, mm -hmm. right? So we whip into town and I stopped at this gas station and I said to the guy, I need some aspirin. I got a terrible headache. The guy goes behind the counter at the gas station, pulls out a prescription bottle of Vicodin and says, here, take one of these instead. <laughs> so the guy at the gas station in Baldwin Whoa. gave me a Vicodin and I'm like, well, all right, I'll <laughs> take that. So we commenced to go back to the 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 single wide in you know in Baldwin right uh huh we're sitting there we're playing cards it's you know two days before firearms deer season opens up and we're all hanging out and bang 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 at the door it's a cop and we're all like nineteen or twenty years old and we got beer and we got you know all this other stuff all this other stuff and this cop's banging at the door and we're freaking out. The guy comes in the house and explains to us, he goes, and you got to keep in mind, this is, you know, 87, 88, 80, you know, three and uh -huh. three there. And the guy comes in the house, he goes, look, I already talked to your dad. As long as you guys don't drive, it's cool. You can stay in here and party. I want to get into the card game. <laughs> so this, 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 this deputy from Lake County at the time. Sits, oh literally leaves the car running out in front of the the friggin' single wide, brings his leaves, radio, leaves in, puts the cop it on the car. table. He's got a he's got a coffee can full of change, and he sits down and starts playing cards with us. 
Oh my God! Honest story. Right? That that's that how is... it happened. Something you as that as, will as never as happen you guys again. Don't drive, you're not going to have any right. problems. Don't don't leave don't leave the thing and deal me in. That's exactly how it went. Oh <laughs> man, that is amazing. That is just amazing. They, there's no way. There's no way that would happen no. today. You couldn't. They can't make it up. That's how it went. It's amazing. <laughs> it's hysterical. <laughs> Finally, a three-year project to repair and maintain roads in Muskegon Township will begin in the spring of 2018. As follows uh, the voters' approval of a 1.5 mil tax, uh, nearly $1 million will be used to fix more than 50 roads in Muskegon. It's high time this happened. you got a lot of uh, a issues million? Is with it? a lot of roadways. I'll tell you what, man, a million state. doesn't go very far fixing roads. Well... You got you got to start somewhere, yeah. and that's what they could get. Um, the, you know, this was the this was yep. the the mill that did that failed back in May. Otherwise, they would have been able to start it earlier. Right. But they can't start till the spring now. But it's it's a start, and you know, it's it's better than what you have right yeah. now. Yeah. So you got to look at it as an improvement. I'm a I'm a glasses half full type you of are. guy. So you've always been that way. Positive. Absolutely. Oh. Sports. Michigan State goes down to Grayson Allen and Duke. The Duke guard scores 37 points, saves Duke from the upset. The Duke, number one, beats second-ranked Sparty, 88-81. See, wouldn't it, wouldn't Great it have been if you would have had money on that game? No, because then I would be down $45 right we now. We didn't know that. you wanted to go 25 bucks. Yeah, you wanted to go 20 Let's go 25 well, on it. No. You didn't know yeah, that no, they no. would have gone down. Uh, I, I did. I had a feeling. Pleasure. Duke's a better basketball team right now. Huh? No. I'm a Michigan State fan. Duke's just a better basketball team right now. Not by much. It would have made the game more fun for you last night. No, it would not. It would have made the game much more painful, especially at the end. So, no, I feel I feel okay. I feel optimistic. And I'm still only 20 in the hole as opposed to being 45 in the hole. <laughs> There's a big difference there. Of course, we got high school football playoffs coming up this week, and we'll talk more about that uh, in the coming days. But that's I'll be here waiting for you. Take it easy.